Hey everybody, so today we're going to be using our inference to understand these 55 word short stories. They're some of my favorite stories because they're so short, they follow these really specific rules, and there's always a little plot twist or reveal at the end that requires great inference skills to, to help you understand it. So let me explain a little bit here and then we'll do an example. So first thing you want to do is review your inference. So I have these videos, uh, this one is from yesterday. And then there's also this slide that we worked with. So if you're like, I don't remember inference and you want to review those skills, go check those out. But anyway, we're going to go here. So there's five stories that we're going to read. And we're going to start with the yes, love happened. So that's a category of these kinds of stories. So everything is about love. So there's some sort of uh, message or reveal at the end about love. We're going to read a story called On the Rebound. We're going to read a story called In the Garden. And I'm going to go ahead and demo this one for you. Then there's one called Young Love, Moment of Decision, and Two Nights at Pass and the Chips, which is probably the most difficult one. Then there's a little overall, which one did you like best and why? So anyway, in order to find the stories, let's go ahead and click this link right up here. Well, let's start off, go ahead and put your name in the document, and then here is where you will find the story. Okay. So short these there's very specific rules with the world's shortest stories. So they have to use exactly 55 words, not 56, not 54. They are fiction, so they're not poems or essays, and they have to create four features, something that we'll study in the next term, but we have a setting, character or characters, a conflict and a resolution, so it follows a plot curve. Okay? So like I was saying there's an interesting reveal at the end and you got to use your inference to do it. So this has this document that I give you Starts with uh, the first category is with murder in mind, and we'll do this one a little later. So go ahead and skip all the way through these stories, and then we're going to go all the way down to yes, love happens. So again, this category of stories all focuses on love, and there's usually a funny or or sweet reveal at the end. So let's go ahead, and we're going to look for not on the rebound. We're going to look at in the garden. Okay, so in the garden. Standing there in the garden, she saw him running toward her. Tina, my flower, the love of my life. He said it at last. Oh, Tom. Tina, my flower. Oh, Tom, I love you too. Tom reached her, knelt down, and quickly pushed her aside. My flower, you are standing on my prize-winning rose. All right. So I want you to just think about it for a second. What was... The reveal at the end. So what what was funny or what was the, the plot twist at the end? Just think about it. Okay. So remember that an inference needs background understanding, right? Your your understanding of what of what the what's going on in the story, and then also some plot some plot details, details that uh tell you you know what, what's going on here. So first of all, we see a person in the garden and she sees somebody running toward her. Now my background knowledge. I'm thinking of those love movies where somebody's running and like, oh, that's my love. And they're in, a, they're, in a, they're in this garden and there's just like a, a mist behind them and a light. And, and he's like, Tina, my flower, love of my life. So that background knowledge is helping put the picture in my head and helping me understand it. And then she's like, he said it at last. So I'm inferring that she's loved this man, Tom, for a long time, but he hasn't really reciprocated or given that love back to her. And he says, Tina, my flower. Now. I'm also using my background understanding of the word flower, meaning like, you know, it's a pet name. It's like, oh, pookie butt, no, you know, my sweetums and those sorts of things. It's a word that we use to express like, like a cute little name for the people we love. And then she says, oh, Tom, I love you too. So she's misinterpreting right here. And this is where the plot twist is. So we have this, my flower, we're thinking of it, our inference is building that it's, that it's a, a pet name. And then... Tom reached down, or reached her, knelt down. Oh my God, is he going to propose marriage? Like we're thinking about that. And then quickly pushed her, pushed her aside. This is where the plot uh, twist starts to come. Pushed her aside. Why would he push her aside? And then my flower, you were standing on my prize winning rose. And there's a little plot twist there. He wasn't talking about the flower or he wasn't calling her flower. He was talking about the rose that she was standing on. And thus twisting the whole story around, because not only does he not love her, he cares about her less than a flower. 
So anyway, there's the story. So hopefully you have a good understanding of it. You want to go through that same process when you're reading the other stories to understand them. This is probably one of the easier ones. And then in the activity, so right here, in the garden, what is the reveal or surprise at the end? So the reveal or surprise at the end was that he doesn't actually love the woman, Tom. He actually was upset that she was standing on his flower when she thought that uh, he was talking to her and, and uh, confessing his love to her. What clues helped me figure that figure out that reveal? Where, well, I kind of talked about it. So he's, he's calling her flower. He knelt down. And then all of a sudden at the end, he says rose and, and that she's standing on the rose. So that helped me figure out uh, that he's actually talking about his rose and not her. So again, this is one of the easier ones. So what I want you to do is I've given you number two in the garden. So in your activity today, go ahead and fill that out. But then we have on the rebound, young love and moment of decision. So in your groups today, you can talk about these, you can work on these together, but everybody needs to turn in their own, his or her own inference 55 word stories you love. Yes, love happens. Turn this in by, well, I'll set a due date for uh, tomorrow, but you might as well go ahead and just try to get it done as quickly as you can. Anyway, if you have any questions, I will of course be in live session there ready to help. Anyway, see you soon.